A big discussion in Tallahassee, mass shootings, specifically balancing the rights of victims and their families and the public's right to know. Mike Vassalinda looks at a controversial piece of legislation addressing that. Photos, video, or audio leading up to, during, or after a mass killing of three or more would be exempt from public records under legislation creating a firestorm in the state capitol. Well, first of all, the potential commercialization of it, uh, getting, in the, getting into the wrong hands. Uh, but there's also some concern about this, um, some of this video and photographic evidence being used to train people to do similar acts. The Southern Poverty Law Center says four words in the bill all acts or events would have kept video of cops hiding, not engaging at Parkland from public view. That might show the perpetrator entering and how they got in, or it might show the footage afterwards, which would show how, the, the, how he or she got out. It, it shows what law enforcement response was. It was the ability to access those records and then the reporting on them that made a difference. As it's written, the legislation wouldn't protect victims from a shooting at a yoga studio in the state capitol. That's because only two died. I say, why not two, why not one? My state attorney in Jacksonville has brought a case where there's just one person that was killed and bad people want pictures of a little girl who was murdered, and that's wrong. So far, compromise has proved elusive, yet both sides say they're sympathetic to the other. Reporting from the state capitol, Mike Vassalinda, Channel 4, the local station. The legislation does allow a court to order records be made public, but in the Parkland case, media outlets spent $100,000 in legal fees, something experts say could not be sustained for multiple cases. Tense moments on the college basketball court last night. Did you see it? A blowout.